Hello, Gemini. Welcome. I'm Ryan. Thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading for whom I'm dealing with. Of course, everything may not resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel, and about these three tarot, she'll read for you as well. Thank you. What's going on? Hmm. Another energy like this. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Oh, goodness gracious. Jumping into this, Gemini, what they do show me. They feel as if they have some sort of idea here regarding plans, but at the same time, they're, they're being a little bit uh, inflexible with this. Um, I do see that this is some sort of financial potential for... Hmm, it could either be or. It could be for the relationship or the commitment, or it could be for the friendship, either or. They're showing me a little bit of both here, and we'll kind of go through this. Now, even though there is a relationship there, and even though there is a friendship, so on one hand, one, and on the other hand, the other. Um, they have not fully accepted where they're at with the situation that they got themselves into. They're saying, I'm so overburdened by everything I have to take care of. I'm not anywhere near energetically ready to kind of deal with this or face this or confront this. To the point where they're saying, let me kind of just wait a minute here. Let me just see where this goes. Well, interestingly enough, because they chose to not face that or deal with that initially... They're going through the emotional disturbances as to, great, um, how, geez. Now here comes the tedious task of putting on a front, putting on a face, a mask. They're saying, I need to figure out very quickly how to present myself as if I'm here, I'm loving, I'm giving, I'm caring, I'm nurturing, when in actuality, I'm just numb, unfortunately. Um... They're saying I have no idea what to do about Gemini. And they're trying to figure that out because they feel like the, the pressure is on as to they need to take care of this. So they're juggling connections here. You as well as someone else. You discern who is who. Literally. Yeah, they're kind of showing me the energy as to why why they're choosing, oh goodness, why they're choosing to kind of stay in place. For now, 
for now. Um, geez, geez, geez. They're taking it day by day. They're taking it day by day. I, I do feel, geez, there's an energy of not 100% accepting this, but it's like they're trying to find some sort of roundabout way to justify their reason for staying in the, the situation, the circumstances that they are. Um, once again, it's this energy of it could be just strictly for money reasons. Money is so difficult. Money is so tight right now that they can't literally afford to jump connections, jump relationships, or I'm not too sure, ultimately decide where they stand emotionally speaking. They do know, though, that there is some sort of history or record here, either with you or with the other, um, that they can't seem to let go of. They, they can't seem to let go of it. Things have drastically changed in their circumstances financially as well as romantically, unfortunately. And even though it, geez, even though this continues is goodness gracious, Gemini. That's all I got to say. Um, they're like, well, there, there is a history, there is a past, but it's even, it's even exhausting and tiring trying to remain positive and get, have a positive outlook or perspective. And it's kind of like, well, you already said way back over there that you're, you're just kind of numb and you don't have, you're kind of just there. You're, you know, you're just there. Um, and once again, they kind of put themselves through the emotional ringer, if you will. So even though they strongly want to believe in this, they're kind of saying, well, I, I just don't know. I just don't know. I just don't know. But the problems, though, and it's kind of like, OK, well, where is it going to go? Um, I feel like they're realizing that what they're holding on to with a little bit of a death grip here is beginning to cause its own problems for them. Yeah, they're, they're looking for solutions right now. That that uh, it, it's it's almost kind of like um, like I said, what they were holding so close to the chest became a problem. became became its own problem to where it's kind of like they had to even sharpen themselves up mentally to consider what a possible solution is. And even they're like, I don't need, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but they are pretty pretty adamant on saying, you know what? Well, then let me kind of just wait again. Let me kind of wait this out and see. So once again, they're like putting everything on pause to wait and see. Goodness gracious. I was going to say, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah, I was going to say it, and there's the Nine of Swords. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Um, for some reason, it's kind of like they're waiting to see if there is, actually is some sort of communication that comes through. And like I said, you'll have to discern who is who here, whether you're committed to them in a relationship or whether you're a friend or, you know, possibly a third party. That, that definitely is a possibility. But the communication, it's like there's still so much left to be cleared up and straightened out. But the communication is definitely about bringing the two of you together to literally work on what they haven't made peace with. What they have not fully 100% accepted or surrendered to. Um, and even though the two of you are working on facing this or doing with this or communicating or talking about this, they're like, well, let me address my emotions. Okay, well, now I'm not too sure anymore because I feel like I'm stuck in a bind and that's very disappointing because I feel like I should know and because I don't know, now I'm stressing out and panicking. I don't know. This feels like a little bit of a roundabout, Gemini, um, where it's almost kind of like you just cannot get a straight answer from whoever this is. It's just not a straight answer. It's not a straight solution. It's kind of like, it, they, they kind of dance around it energetically, trying to find some roundabout way to deal with issues without actually the issues being dealt with. I don't know. 
um, very confusing and a little bit hard to track, honestly. Of course, if you are dealing with anyone, you could be dealing with an air sign, an earth sign, a water sign. Hmm. And that is all. Bye.